and I am tired. It's 7 in the morning, Saturday. Didn't vlog all week. We have a convention. No, it's actually not a convention. It's a vintage gaming store. Uh, somebody at Lodi Comic Con told me about it. 40 bucks for a table. One day event. It's at, it's inside of a store. I'm picturing like a GameStop, but I don't know what to expect. But I'm on my way there now, and I'm going to show you guys when we get there. But uh, I'm about to I'm starting to drive, so... I think I just made it. Um, it's in like a shopping center, pretty cool. Oh, it's right here. Fire nice. All right, we're parking. Let's go. All right, we just got here. I'll fit check. I'm thinking I'm gonna go five. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go five. All right, five high versus four high. Damn, I don't have any ideas for how I'm gonna set this up. While you guys watch a little bit of this b-roll i'm gonna talk a little bit about the show i was at lodi comic con like two weeks ago and i met somebody there they mentioned this show to me they said it was a small vintage gaming store tables were only 40 bucks it's a one day event i didn't expect anything big i only came really just to get rid of some of my inventory you guys know i'm trying to get rid of all my old inventory so that was my main goal i mainly just wanted to make back my 40 dollars i put in the table and then the 50 dollars i put in my gas tank to get there then i would have been satisfied so i didn't expect anything from the show i didn't expect to make millions of dollars i i honestly expected to make 100 bucks and i think i made about 175 which is more than i made at lodi comic con an actual comic convention i didn't make that much i'm pretty sure other people probably did better than me but I'm literally like my, my setup is ugly i know it is i have my poster hanging off and it's just like all my old stuff so i'm just trying to like get rid of it but yeah the show was good they put me in the very back which i guess i, I guess when i signed up i didn't tell them that i was an artist so they assumed i was just like a regular vendor so they put me in the back there was somebody next to me and i think my table was blocking their table so they asked to be moved and then they got moved across from me but to where they could see the door and then the owner i believe it's the owner he came a little bit later and told them they could just move their whole table so i was literally in the back of the store by myself my water my water jug i always have a water jug in my view But there ain't nobody back here. I'm on myself. I'm lonely, man. I'm lonely, man. People would walk to the end of the aisle and immediately just like turn around, like wouldn't even finish hitting up my table well because you could see my table from the entrance i think because they knew like it was art or i'm assuming they thought because it was art and not like games and stuff like that they wanted they just didn't even need to go the full route i want to say i only had about five or six sales 
but the five or six sales i did it was like big purchases everything was like 30 to 40 dollar purchases people were getting somebody bought like four or five prints so another dude bought like a bunch of sticker sheets i didn't have that many sales but the people who did buy art made big purchases and it was cool because i feel like my art is like niche like oh it's it's spider verse and spongebob not which is like popular but you don't really see that in artist alley at least i don't because when i go i'm usually looking for like dragon ball z art and i don't really see it and then i have like shoes like nike dunks and stuff like that and mf doom so when the people come and buy my stuff and they talk to me about it and it's like something they're passionate about. like the dude one of the dudes who bought the sneakerhead shoe sneakerhead sticker sheet of me he was an actual sneakerhead and he's like oh man like i never see this stuff this is like sick and i was like you know what like i don't see it either that's why i make it but i don't get that many sales on it because it's, it's like such a niche it's not really a niche to the world but it's a niche to like artist alley i feel like the people who go to artist alley are looking for strictly like either anime or comic book stuff and i don't have too much of that what i'm working on i'm in i'm in this little i'll save it for the rant after the video but this was a cool little show <laughs> oh man, I got some more of those cooking too right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm like addicted to the snap, so. Well, I, I was playing it and for some reason I lost my like progress. No way. On my account. Ah. And I just, when I logged back into like my phone, I put on, was connecting to it with oh, my, my like, Apple stuff. I just, I was, I gave up. I was like, yeah, I, I can't. I wouldn't be, I don't think I'll be able to jump into it. Can I get four sticker sheets? Yeah, which ones? Uh, so the baby uh, Ninja Turtles one, yeah. the Scott Pilgrim, the Jordans and Nikes one, and then the Spider Society. Jordans and Nikes, Spider Society. Hey, oh, I should ask, what do you do? You take like card? Take? Yeah, I can do card. You got tap? Uh, I do, yeah. Yeah, I can tap it for you. Okay. And then you said Jordan and Spider Society. Uh, yeah, it's three people, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, shampoo, yeah. Shampoo, shampoo. yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. You guys watch that one? Yeah, hell yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's good. It's a good little short one. I like that. That's what I like about it, too. It's like, it's one season, you just have it on, you're good. Yeah. And there's some, like, episodes you could even skip to. You, you just jump to in. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Because a zombie episode kind of threw me off a little bit. Yeah, right? But it was like a, like a filler, filler. kind of, but yeah. it wasn't a filler. But yeah. I don't know that. I see you wanted four, right? This one for sure. 18 you want to get? Yeah, yeah. I'll pick I'm that still one for that sure. Out for you. Are you from the area or did you come I'm from uh, Modesta. Oh, so not too far, but a little bit of a drive. Yeah, I'm so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you have the, the, the spring boob uh, square pants? This one's on my yeah. yeah. Spring boob. <laughs> Can we do the Legacy of Toriyama thing? Legacy of Toriyama? Gotcha. And last, I think. <laughs> this is it. Okay. The uh, the Amazing Grails, that's a sticker sheet? Yeah, it's a sticker sheet. It's like, it's like this. Yeah. Um, I mean, like comic books because, okay. like, you know, people don't like the pill stickers. Yeah, I don't yeah. like the pill stickers. Okay. So you could, it's like you could frame it, so it could also be a, a okay. print. But yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, I'll take one of those too, the Amazing Grails. Amazing Grails? That would be all. Alright, so that would be. That would be 33. Would you want to cash card? Card. Card art. Can I get two stickers? Stickers uh, or sticker sheets? Stickers. Uh, okay. 
How much are the sticker sheets actually? The sticker sheets are eight or two for fifteen, which is these, and it comes with multiple stickers. Yeah. And then the stickers on the uh, side, just the single ones, those yes. are four. Okay. I'll do two of this, the the ones on the side here, the single ones. Single ones. Can I do the uh, Insomniac Lego Spider Man? Yeah. And then the. Uh, and then the this one that's like a like a comic book pricing like Marvel thing. That's the oh, the uh, corner box. Yeah, corner box. Thank you. Hi. You sit part. Yeah. so hot in the morning time it was so cold like freezing that's why i wore a sweater and now i'm like cooking but i'm out of here we'll chat about it in another section of the video but uh i want to say i did better here than i did at lodi comic con the one that i just did it was so slow here but people when they bought something they bought a lot a lot of the purchases were bigger purchases purchases but uh we'll talk about it right now let me um Oh my god, I have my heater on, not my AC. Let me get some food, let me get some food. Let's make this a regular vlog now. Let's go vlogging. <laughs> 85 Bakery Cafe. I'm gonna get some sweets. And I wanna get some sweets. I'm out here at the bakery. I think it's closed. Was it closed? Damn. $40 in pastries right here. 40 whole dollars. Can you hear me? Uh, comment if you can hear me. Drop a like if you can hear me. We're at the mall though. We're looking for uh, Legos. Sacramento Mall. I haven't been here since I was like, like 10 years. 10 whole years about. It's pretty big in here. A lot of people. Pretty clean. It's better than my mall, my local mall. But I think the Lego store is gone. This is a full lot. This is where a Lego store used to be. Bro, no. I could have sworn the Lego store was right here. What the? Don't tell me. Bruh, Lego store's gone. Maybe it's downstairs. Okay. Clap, 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 clap. So I'm kind of quitting my art journey a little bit. Kinda. Resetting it. I'm resetting it a little bit. Because I need to take my art in a new direction. What I've been doing has not been working and I need to rethink everything. I need to brainstorm and come back a thousand times better. Right now the art I'm making is like super niche and I love it when people come to my table and they really like my art and it's and they resonate with it but it's like limited amount of people. I don't get like swarms of people to my table to be like one or two here and there and it's just like oh you do you draw shoes I'm a sneakerhead myself. I like the shoes, but then that'll be it. I won't talk to nobody forever, but I'll be looking at my neighbors and they have a lot of business. And I'm just like, damn. Sometimes I feel like it's the way that I look that I don't look too approachable maybe. And they see my table and like, ah, skip that guy. Or I just feel like my art is trash. And that's like my self-esteem is going downhill when I think about it like that. Cause I'm like, I see, I hear all these stories where people are like, I made this much at this show. I made it this much. I'm like, why can't I make that? Why can't I barely make $200? at a convention conventions cost a lot of money i need to make money if i want to keep doing this so i have to like rethink everything and figure it out and basically i might have to be doing the art i don't want to do i might have to do it 
I talk to like every show I do I talk to tons of artists and I get like feedback and tips and everybody has their own game plan of what they're gonna do but it usually boils down to like fan art and catering to making art that basically they know will sell even if they don't know anything about the show or the cartoon or the anime or the book or the movie I don't want to be like that but I think I might have to be like that but more about this show I drove two hours to make $40 my table was 40 I put 50 in gas I bought chick-fil-a I went all out on the chick-fil-a I got that deluxe with the tomato and the extra pickles extra large drink and I got a refill on that drink uh, but yeah I basically drove two hours to make like 40 bucks which I got rid of a bunch of inventory that was the goal we always talk about I have a lot of old art but this show is the last show where I'm gonna have this art I'm getting rid of it all I'm like done I'm not bringing it to the show ever again I'm completely revamping redoing deleting everything everything's gonna be deleted I'm my Instagram has been deleted everything on there has been gone now it's now it's all my old art that I need to get rid of. It's going to be all new. Hopefully. The plan is by July, I think it's my next show. By then I should have all new art. But I drew things I liked for a long time since I started doing conventions. A big reason why I started doing conventions is because I would go, I would see Artist Alley and it was never like Dragon Ball Z art. It was like one person every time who just... Now that I think about it, the when I did see people with Dragon Ball Z art, they usually didn't have people at their table like I don't right now. So maybe it's me i'm the problem when i first started conventions that's because i would go and i would take notes and see what everybody else was doing and i saw everybody would do like one character posters or like a half body character on a poster and they were getting a lot of sales so i was like you know what i'm gonna do that too and i did it and i used to get sales back then but now that i came back to conventions all these years later uh it's not doing so good i thought like oh i can just get rid of these prints super easy if i'm selling them for like 10 bucks and it's it's hard man i don't know if it's because the shows that i've been doing are small shows except for WonderCon, that wasn't a small show but everything the other three shows that i've done this year are tiny tiny shows and one day shows on top of that so maybe that's what it is but i basically don't think i'm going to be drawing things that i love anymore like i mean i obviously love comics and anime and all that but there's just those animes that i like full metal alchemist dragon ball spider-man i think i'm about to do man people always come to my table asking for like uh sword art online and like seven deadly sins and stuff i don't watch and i'm just like uh, i don't have any of that I'm sorry but the person down here has it i just don't make what other artists make and i think i think i need to give up being an artist who creates what they want to create and be an artist who create who creates what everybody wants and everybody the only thing is is like how do people choose when you go to artist alley you see a lot of the same type of art or artists and like how do you choose like there's like a when you go to artist alley there's like a lot of stuff that just kind of blends together and i don't know how to choose like how do people choose which one they like the best that's the only thing i'm scared of is if i'm creating this kind of art am i just gonna mesh in with everybody else and then not stand out I don't know I just I can't create what I want no more I basically gotta treat it like a business and create what's good for a, a business but my, my main goal for doing artist alley again was to meet industry professionals and get feedback and critique and all that I'm still gonna do that what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like my own portfolio for like the work that I really want to make and then have like a separate thing for artist alley art that's strictly for artist alley because I know things that do well online don't do well at artist alley and things that i make for artist alley don't do well online so i'm thinking i'm just gonna have it separate because i still want to get a job in animation or something creative i want to i want to do but like doing these shows is expensive like the WonderCon one i was like two thousand dollars i spent or something like that and the only way i'm gonna make money is if i actually treat it like a business and just focus on making like art of like the most popular anime and like the most popular scenes from anime or stuff like that that I see all the time I don't know I gotta fit in I just gotta figure it out I don't really want to but I, I think I got to but after talking to tons of artists and artists alley I think I just have to create art that just pleases everybody's eyeballs and not only my eyeballs and like the four other people who like my art I'm in a hard spot though because I don't want to make gimmicky art you know of like an anime I never seen before 
like a poster for an anime I never seen before, or just like a character that's like like a half body character poster. I don't I don't want to do that, you know. I don't want to make art that will just get tossed in like a pile of art that just all looks the same, you know, like like a stack of Naruto posters and you can't tell who's what, what artist did what. Or, I don't know. That's just that's just the way I think. It's probably like a that's just like a hot take, but I, I really want to make art that like your mom will hang above the fireplace or something like that, something that everybody will love, you know. And I thought I had the recipe for some cool art, but. I guess it's just something that only I loved and nobody else did, so I'm kind of like scrapping that idea already that I had. Hmm, I don't know. I want to make art that I put time into, not just something that I whipped up real fast to make a quick 20 bucks. It might be a hot take, but I think there's like a cheat code to Artist Alley. There's like, people have like art style, but then there's like an Artist Alley style, you know? Like, I know a lot of people probably understand I don't really know how to explain it, but you go, you know what sells at Artist Alley. And I feel like once you figure out what sells, then you crack that code. And I figured it out. I just didn't want to do it because I just didn't want to like put myself in a box. I have to treat these shows more like a business and I didn't want to for a long time because I just want to make art. But I want to eat, man. And these shows are expensive and I eat a lot. So hopefully the next show I do, which is in July, that's all I have planned for is July and August. I hope it'll be a great success, super successful show. Hopefully things go as planned. I have ideas I'm cooking up. If I can execute, I have a lot of art I'm making. I'm taking a lot of art classes right now. I'm like in four art classes right now, I'm trying to just progress. Hopefully I can incorporate everything I'm learning into my new art. And hopefully it translates into money, dollar dollars. That's what I need, bills. I hate talking about money here because my main focus is like, being a better artist but i guess if you're a better artist you make more money and i don't know comment your thoughts on that below i think nowadays that's what it is because social media doesn't matter so the true key to being a good artist is making that dollar dollar if you're making that dollar dollar you're a real artist unless you don't care and you could just make whatever you want still be rich i guess wish i could just make whatever i want i don't know i'm ranting so long let me shut up the show was good i didn't make that much money the people there were good the people running it were good i might do it again they asked me if i wanted to come back i said yeah i'll come back unless i have something going on but but maybe you'll see another vlog from me there but uh thanks for watching i appreciate all the love why did this video get kind of like ugh at the end I don't know. I hate I hate businesses stuff. Business businessy stuff sucks. But anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you to my patrons. And also, somebody came to me at the show and said they watch my vlogs. So if this this is you watching. That was that was you. Thank you for watching and thank you for being here. Uh, thank you to my patrons again. My super Patreon this month is. I mean, my super Patreon this week. My super Patreon this week is Devante. What's up, Devante? How you doing, man? Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here all these months. Uh, I'm giving away a free original drawing to a random Patreon Sticker Club member. So if you're a Patreon Sticker Club member, thank you. And you might get this in your little envelope this month. It's May the 4th month, so it's Star Wars related. I know a lot of people don't like Star Wars and other things. Niches, that's my niche. I love Star Wars. I love Dragon Ball. Uh, we're back to niches full circle. Anyways, I'm not your typical artist alley vlogger. I'm not your typical studio vlogger. I'm kind of different. I kind of don't fit the uh, profile of all the other artist alley vloggers and studio vloggers, but maybe you'll comment and like and follow and subscribe and all that stuff if you want, if you want. I'm not your mom, okay? Maybe I am. All right, peace out. I'm done. I'm done. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Patreons. Bye.